Hello, you beautiful lot. Welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now, of course, I'm here at Wellingborough 14 Arches Viaduct. Looking beautiful. And we have Chester House over here with 10,000 years of history on show. And of course, Wellingborough back down there. Now, <laughs> curiosity is getting me. And I haven't been over the other side of the other lake for quite some time. And I've got a, <laughs> I lost my old phone. I was uh, just being an idiot. And um, I had to get a new one. So I couldn't hook it up to me drone for ages. So sorry about the lack of drone footage. It's been a bit bleak. But now that I have sorted that, I can now use me drone again. So we should be able to see things that you can't normally see from the lower level. Oh, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? So I'm gonna make my way over to this lake here and into the bottom corner, because just up on the hill there, you've got Earthlinborough Road and uh, Stanton Cross Development and Bovis Homes. And Bovis Homes sold off to loads of little groups like Tilia Homes, whatever, whatever. And um, yeah, this is um, flood compensation for the new road that they're building off the Earthlinborough Road over the railway and down towards the embankment. Um, I've done a video of that, I'll link it up somewhere around here yeah so um bear with me and we'll get in here and we'll walk that way around the lake and we'll see what we can see up here and up on there as well so cool before we go off i've just noticed this look it's someone's homemade raft <laughs> the love boat <laughs> oh i wonder if it actually worked i mean water's in there now but that's probably where it's been raining but yeah <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Twain. Look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Nice. This used to be much better when the horses used to roam here because they used to keep all this clear so you could walk all the way around the lake. I mean, horses are beautiful for land management. They really help the land. But Bovis ordered them off the land, so... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. No pain, no gain. Follow this one. Right, I'm gonna go far in the corner and we'll send the drone up that way. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, brilliant, right. Let's have a look over that mound, eh? Because it looks like they've actually uh, moved a lot of mount, uh, mud here. So um, let's have a little look, eh? Oh wow, they've scraped all the land. Oh wow. And that was a beautiful poppy field as well. Wow, look at that. That's nuts. So you've got your Earthlinborough Road coming off where them blue containers are. It's in the middle right side of the screen. And a new road to go off the railway and head down towards where Whitworth's is at the Embankment Road. That's pretty mega. Oh, wow. Utter devastation, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, the quality on this phone is looking absolutely bang on with the drone. I think my other phone was a bit too... Um, old to run the DJI app. 
we go start looking over to Stanton Cross Chestnut Vale plot let's go up a bit more we're at oh, what's that 80 meters so far 90 meters 100 meters 110 that'll do that'll do I don't want to go too hard there's no need there's no need it's okay you got the school there the funny thing is this Stanton Cross still doesn't have any shops or anything there's not much been going on with Earthlingborough Road along there is there <laughs> Uh, them houses have been there for a year. So I think Tillier Homes have uh, bought the brownfields just in front of that row of houses going off towards Earthlingborough. And of course Southfield Farm have been in uh, the residents have been evicted. They've even been digging down there. That's crazy. Looking off to Ditchford. There's a railway line in there. <laughs> Rushton Lakes. And the flood compensation. Hmm. I don't like that. So where they're building a new road on floodplains, they have to create more floodplains. So they've created another lake in there. I don't know if the sports club, the lake to the left, um, I don't know if they're going to take over and use it for another bit of sports facilities. But there is more rumours about a slip road coming off from Rushton Lakes, which is going to destroy the old dismantled rail, um, the disused railway bridge just at the back of um, a little chef. Or no, Buddies, isn't it? Buddies. That's down to Rushton to try and save that. And of course, our beautiful viaduct. Looking off to Urchester. Absolute belter. And Chester Farmhouse. Come on, go down a bit. There you go. Sort of light out. God, it is beautiful from here. And of course, these are Wellingborough Lakes, and these lakes were created by gravel extraction in the 70s. So before that, it was just beautiful pastures. And I suppose even before the railway, it just would have been beautiful Greenland. And then we come back into that devastation. And of course, there's the Leyland Estate. Um, it used to be one massive furnace. So um, yeah, Thomas Butlin's foundry, it's pretty awesome. Used to uh, do a lot of smelting for the ironstone that was found up in Findon and the surrounding areas of Wellingborough. Pretty cool. Right, okay, um, I suppose the other one we really might want to be taking a look at. Oh, I don't know, can we see it from here? Sorry for the spin around, I want to see. <laughs> oh, was that lot there? It doesn't actually look like they've done too much. Sorry, sport mode. Sport precautions. Just get on with it. Still got eyes. Lovely. Yeah. Looks like they've just been poking and prodding at the land. Not actually done much. But they are due to build all along here. All of this. All of that. Great. How lovely. Stunt and cross a welling but Right, okay, that's enough yapping. Um I'm gonna come down and um Hmm, I don't know exactly. Yeah, let's have a look at this flood compensation over the back. We'll get a bit closer. So we'll walk around the lake and then uh, we'll head off. Oh, David Bowie. That's where you went.
Should we have a look? I think we should. Bloody right. because they're building a new road on floodplains so they've got to destroy more land I mean, some people were saying it may be um, a new road coming off from um, Rushton Lakes, but I'm afraid this one isn't. The uh, the one going from Rushton Lakes. So let's go up a little bit so you see Rushton Lakes up there. There's an old railway line that runs to the right-hand side of that big cinema there. Um, and then, of course, comes down in the middle of the screen and then off to the middle right. That's an old railway. You can see a, a bridge down there, actually. Oh, sorry, that's too fast. Sorry. Let's take that sport mode off. Right there in the middle. And that is an old railway line there. Um, and you see the two ponds there. That's the railway gully. So that is the Wellingborough to Hyme Ferrers line. So it goes through Rushton. And, of course, the new road that Rushton want to do... Oh, it's jolting about a little bit, a bit far away. Um, is coming along the old railway at the back of Rushton Lakes and coming up to this... Uh, um, A45 Ditchford slip roads. So you love new slip roads there as well. Um, there is also a new road supposed to happen near near the Chettles factory and then go up towards Earthlinborough Road and Sidegate Lane. So, yeah, eyes peeled on that bit. But yeah, that's pretty bad, isn't it? The flood compensation. Yeah, what a joke. What a joke. What an absolute joke. I mean, look how black that soil is. There's got to be something in that. It's not just normal clay. That's got to be something in there. Because then we uh, look back to me, who's quite a long way off there. Yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, well, if we go up to the top of the lakes, um, back towards Wellingborough, we'll, um, what was that, a train? Yeah, we'll have a look where this new road is coming off. Yeah, it is, yeah, train! Lovely, look at that, just as we're coming in. Spot the droner. Let's come in. Right, we'll uh, make our way to the other side of the vide up there and uh, we'll carry on our journey. Right, I'm, I'm halfway back, it's just extremely windy, so sorry I haven't done much footage coming along from the vider. Uh, right, so we're now on the other side of the earthworks, so you know at the beginning of the video we looked down there. Well, it comes over the railway and near this mound it's supposed to come down and round and across here to another mound over the other side. So, um, it, From there it will go past the embankment to a new 
um, road on, oh, where is it, the Tesco's roundabout. So I want to go down on the spur line, send the drone up so you can see this bit and kind of see past the Whitworth football pitches and uh, down towards the uh, Tesco roundabout so you can see it. So. Yeah, it looks like we did have a bit of movement at, um, at Whitworth Football Club because I write a new road is going in, but there was new plans for a balancing pond to go through, which kind of brought up raw because it would mean that you get rid of two of the football pitches. Look at that! Interrupted. <laughs> Pass me here, roll. Um, but both of us had kind of neglected any kind of uh, callback to the football guys so now that we've kind of promoted it and half the tele uh, Wellingborough council has got on board with the idea of trying to save it it looks like Bovis has now agreed to a meeting now where that goes from there I don't know but at least the ball is moving so thank you to everybody who put in their uh, uh, <laughs> a refusal slips and uh, oh, I'm getting out of breath these days getting old anyway shut up perhaps i'm gonna go down onto the old railway line and we'll send the drone up along here and go back that way lovely <sighs> there we go so See, you've got these two mounds, there's one in the middle and one in the back. Well, just to the left of that mound should be our road. And it will come along here on a high level and go straight that way towards Tesco's. Uh, the road that's existing there by the embankment, um, I don't know what they're going to do with that, but this new road is going to run to the right of it. So, a little bit further away from the road. A little bit better for those idiots who can't drive and seem to chuck their car straight in the river there. Anyway, let's get this drone up. Let's have a look then. Last time. Now you can really see the line that that's going to be running there, look. I mean, that isn't that a beautiful scene though? That is absolutely amazing. But yeah, it's all just about to be ruined with a lovely road, I suppose. Straight down this way. the water that's already built up there already look. I don't think it's a good idea really but you know it is going to relieve the embankment road and of course I live along the embankment and trying to get the little ones to sleep it's an absolute nightmare so embankment road is that main busy one where you see the red car going up now so that is absolutely mega busy this road will uh, relieve that pressure so it's a little bit good for me but in the long run it's destroying nature isn't it so, of course you've got the station in the top right hand corner trains but yeah this new road is da -da -da, da -da -da, going straight across there so you see where this strip of brown field is I suppose Tell you what, let's let's go in for a closer inspection, shall we? So where you see the football pitches are, where they're playing, um, the f there's three football pitches, and they will lose the far one and the one that's closest to us now. So God bless them. And then it will reach into the next field along. I bet I'd have to go up even higher. If you want to see that? Um, to the following roundabout. So route two, mega, that's stunning isn't it, absolutely love it, I just hope the sound quality comes out alright, um, if we go the other way, where you've got Whitworths, 
you should start to see a Chester Country Park. That's it, behind the warehouse. An old ironstone quarry. Epic nature reserve to take the kiddiewinks. Anyway, I suppose that will do. Thank you for joining me. Absolute pleasure. Um, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Is that a train? <laughs> I'm going in. How fast can we get to it? Yeah, look at that. Train! The battery's going to start beeping at me in a moment as well. Sorry, folks. Beautiful. Past the Leyland estate. Low battery warning. Oh, thank you very much. And I'll call that the Wellingborough Curve. Now, I will be down there a little bit later because we have the Blue Midland Pullman coming through. So I want to try and catch that by drone. If I can, then I'll add it as my end scene. If not, then, well, this will do. So, just in case, thank you for coming. Hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll bring you some more Wellingborough videos very soon. Now we've got the drone back up and running. This should be fun. Let's have an epic year out, eh? Right. Let's see if we can catch that Pullman. Oh, we've got rain, but I can see it coming. <laughs>